So I was pleasantly surprised to see Sonos has entered into the headphone game. And as a fan of Sonos products, this is really exciting. Now I have a massive headphone, I was going to say headphone wall, but they'll be back. Uh, but I do have a lot of headphones and it's good to see Sonos coming to this game to kind of spice things up for people. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Sonos Ace, which is the brand new headset from Sonos against the Bose QC Ultra, the Sony XM5s and the AirPods Max to find out who is the best in this market. Now, when we come to wireless headphones over the air cans like this, these are pricey. They're all expensive headphones, if you will, with the Sonos Ace coming in at $449, not the most expensive, which is left to the AirPods Max at around $529. Uh, we do have the QC Ultras also around $429, while the XM5s are the lowest at sub $400. Now, of course, pricing will, will depend on the others because they're older, so you can get discounts on that, but the Ace right now is brand new at $449. So let's take a look at some of the things that this, uh, device brings to the table. And let's start off with the very first thing, the travel case. Very simple, very standard, because this allows you to take your headphones with you anywhere you go in a nice protective manner. Now, Sonos has this really nice soft case that looks like it's made from recycled materials, but it's nice and comfortable. I do like it's got this magnetic pouch for your cables. It feels light. The, the headphones don't actually um, break down all the way through. They lay flat but they fit well into the case and that's nice. Now compared to the others, the least most practical case here is from Apple with the AirPods, AirPods Max. Uh, it does have this kind of like a purse sleeve case thingy that comes with it. And I do have a protector uh, shell from Spigen, which I also use. Now the Bose QC Ultras do fold and kind of compress down and they have a very functional Bose case, something pretty standard. And this also has, as you can see with the Snapdragon logo here, it does have Snapdragon sound as well. So that's something to take note with that. And finally, the Sony XM5, which also have similar, similar style case to the Bose, lay flat case uh, for protection. And I'll talk about the scratches of my XM5s uh, within the video, but they have similar cases. I do like the Bose case because it is smaller and more compact. So it allows you to at least use less space, but Sonos has done a good job there. So with cases, we're talking about protection and let's talk about durability and design. And looking at the Sonos Ace, you can see it comes in two colors, black and white. I do like the design of the headphones here. You've got a nice soft leather band on the top, uh, which is very flexible. And of course it kind of slides in and out with this, uh, the metal rim into each ear cup, which is nice. Now the ear cups of them are color coded. So one is kind of black and one is gray kind of just, you know, signifying which is which. So gray is right, black is left, and they are removable ear cups, which are very simple to kind of just pop out and remove. I like that as well. So clear functionality there. Now the black one can be a fingerprint magnet. So take note of that, as you can see on screen. And in terms of controls, you've got a very interesting control setup here, uh, where you do have the power button on the left ear cup and on the right ear cup is there are two buttons, basically. One is a round button that is your uh, noise cancellation button. The other is a button and a slider, which kind of slides up and down for your music controls. And also you can press down to skip songs or answer phone calls. Very intuitive and honestly, it works pretty well. So compared to the others, how do we stack with design and build? Let us start off with the, of course, the big elephant in the room, the XM5. So I do have the light colored XM5s, the kind of sandstone color, and you guys can see how clearly there are a lot of scratches on here. I tossed this into my backpack and that's how I got the scratches, but that also shows you kind of the durability in terms of the aesthetics of this. It's still very durable and very light, but aesthetically, you're gonna get scratches on this if you don't use a case. It's got a soft leather band as well, not as thick as the Sonos, and the slide quite seamlessly uh, across. In terms of buttons here, you do have a few buttons. You've got a power button, and you've got your active noise cancellation button on the left ear cup. On the right, there's none because they're all touch sensitive controls. So you can swipe up or down left or right uh, for skipping songs. Works pretty well and very intuitive. Something that Sony has kind of honed on in terms of control, but now you know how I got the scratches on there. Now with the QC Ultras from Bose, 
Uh, all the buttons are located on the right ear cup. There's a power button and then there's also like an ANC button. And then you've got controls underneath the right ear cup that you can slide easily for volume up and volume down. It does work pretty well, very intuitive and very easy to use. Now, the ear cups are soft. Uh, they are not necessarily removable as quickly as possible, but you can still detach them and pull them out. Uh, they've got like detachable tabs around them. Uh, and it's not a magnetic slip, so you kind of have to line them up and pin them in together. But comfortable, and they do fold down as well. And then finally, we have the AirPods Max. All metal finishing design, and a lot of this metal adds more weight to this headset. And one of the reasons why I do have that um, Spigen skin cover is that it's also prone to scratches, just like the XM5, uh, which is right there. I do have one. So Spigen, please make screen covers for uh, the XM5 or the XM6s because I definitely need it on my Sony headphones. But in terms of controls, you have two controls. There's one button and then there's, of course, the dial as well, which can be used to increase volume, press and play, skip tracks all that fun stuff there. And this has a lightning port with it. It's got a mesh band on the top, again, flexible. And when it comes to design and durability, I do have to give it to the Bose. I think the Bose is probably the most versatile in terms of design, uh, maybe not aesthetics, but it is versatile and it handles pretty well. You can throw it around and you wouldn't get scuffed or scratched up. I'd say the Sonos is next with the uh, AirPods Max and then Sony, as you can see with all the scratches at the bottom here. Now, coming to weight, the lightest headset here to me has to be, it's a toss up between the XM5s and the Bose QCs. Now, I'm not talking about physical weight in terms of how much they weigh. I didn't weigh them, but just in terms of me wearing them. So the XM5s feel super comfortable when I put them on. Um, they, are comfortable to wear, they're really light, and I can use them for a long period of time. It, it's something that you can easily do. Same thing with the Bose uh, QC Ultras. These are super light as well, comfortable. They rest and the weight is well distributed across your head. Now coming in at number three are the Sonos Ace. I think the Ace do a good job in adding that premium weight, which the other two don't have, but also giving a nice balance in terms of comfort and fit. I like how they feel. I was able to wear them for quite a while while traveling this last weekend on a flight, as well as also just, you know, in the airport, and I could wear this around quite easily. So these do a really good job. While the AirPods Max, I have said this before in previous videos, uh, they are not that comfortable for me. There's a pair of headphones that I can wear for maybe about 45 minutes and then I feel a lot of uh, just a lot of tension around my ear where it rests around you know my ear uh, my earlobe so I get a lot of like you know cranial pressure there not saying they're bad and I know people who can use them for quite a bit but that's where it lands so basically for me it's it's Sony then Bose then Sonos and then finally of course Apple when it comes to weight and comfort Okay, so let's dispel all that and get into what we care about, audio. How good does the Sonos A sound? Now, Sonos has done a really good job in bringing some of their sound and audio influence from the speakers into the Sonos A. And I have to say though, they've gone done a good job in tuning these headphones pretty well. They sound good and Sonos is going for what they like to call that clear reproduction for what you're expecting from the artist. So it's not necessarily radio quality, anything like that, but it's more about what the representation the artist wants to do. And I have to say in my listening experience, they sounded pretty good. Now, it's not necessarily the sound that I personally like. I do like a warmer sound, so I'm just gonna call it that as my bias into this, but I do like the balance they give here. It's not as clean or as maybe robotic, uh, but more, a little bit more balance in between there when it comes to sound. Now, the highs come up pretty well. Uh, the lows are okay. The mids are clear enough and there's enough space there. So which means there's some good separation between all your sound notes. Now, in comparison to the other three, how do they stack up? I would say the cleanest sound out of everyone here is from the Bose QC Ultras. There's a very good separation between your highs, your mids, your lows with the QC Ultra, and I definitely like how they actually fit into that category. Um, and also some really good bass there. Then followed by, I would say, the um, Sony XM5s. But the XM5s are a bit different because 
I believe the X and Fives are built to to maximize your own taste. Uh, you can go in and change a lot of things in the app, and especially how it sounds, and tune it properly to what you want to listen to. Which is why I kind of like the X and Fives are there because I can get my personalized sound as much as possible. And then, of course, you do have the AirPods Max. So I'll say. The Sonos is probably around my number two. It's tied with the XM5s there in terms of just the overall sound quality. With Apple, of course, it's still really good, but it's just a very clean um, sound. It feels like it's more robotic than anything else. That's I've said this before in the past, but Sonos Ace, they do a really good job with the audio quality and the audio department here. So we've talked about audio quality. One of the big things that everybody likes nowadays is of course, active noise cancellation. And to be fair, you travel a lot, you're in a lot of spaces where you're traveling to work, on a plane, you need active noise cancellation. And this is where I actually will give Sonos last place. Yes, in comparison to the other three, Sonos active noise cancellation is not as robust as the other three headsets. It is good, but not great. So while using it on a plane, I could really hear my surroundings quite clearly. Um, and it wasn't fully captivating, but it's still decent enough to cut out uh, conversations nearby, things like that. I would say for me, the best active noise cancellation here is between the Bose and the Sony with Apple coming in slightly on there. Now, they all have microphones as you would expect, and you can actually answer and take phone calls on there. And Sonos has really done a good job with the mics on here in conversations. I have no issues with it at all. Most people were able to hear me quite clearly without realizing that I was on the headset. I asked them later and they were like, oh, that's pretty good. I think they've done a good job here. I think Apple still has a clear winner here with both the Sony and the Bose also doing a good job, but the Ace also comes up pretty clean. So a lot of headphones have multiple functionalities that can be found within the app itself. Now, Sonos has an app which they've been using, of course, for their speakers, but you can use them for the Sonos Ace once you do the update. It's a very simple app allowing you to rename uh, your uh, headset, you can also check out the battery, you can go through the noise cancelling um, controls, there's head tracking, and there's EQ. Now, this is why I was expected to see more, so you can customize that sound a bit, but the EQ is very simple and basic, either for a left and right balance or bass and treble boost or reduction. And that's pretty much it. You've got hardware controls, kind of setting those up, as well as also multi-point. So a very basic app. Now, in terms of placements, where it kind of lands between all of them, Apple's the last, Apple doesn't really have an app for its, its controls. They've got adaptive EQs, which are meant to basically customize, you know, towards your experience, which I don't like. I just don't like adaptive EQs whatsoever. Um, I don't want anything kind of telling me what I should listen to rather than me actually deciding what I should listen to. At least that's how I like to frame it. I know somebody will attack me in this video, but I don't care. Above that is Sonos because the app is, in terms of EQ and balance and some of the things you can do, is still really basic. Uh, they want to actually give more of their representation with how their drivers are set. Then you have the Bose app, which is a bit more extensive uh, with a few uh, additions there with immersive controls and things like that. And then there's Sony, and Sony has the most robust app, which can be overwhelming at times for some people. For me, it is not. I do like the app, but I, I see where it can be extensive for a lot of people. The app allows for a lot of functionality, especially with the EQ controls where you can go in and dive really deep to what you want to do with the EQs. You can also dive into different functionalities and especially for lossless audio and things like that. So the app is quite extensive, but Sono has a good app that I think they can build from to add much more. Speaking of lossless audio, this Sonos Ace also supports lossless audio, which is nice. It can be done, of course, either through the wired headset or, of course, devices that support that as well. So that is actually good to see here. And I think a lot of people who are audiophiles will definitely like that addition to this headset. So when it comes to extra features, most of these headsets do not have extra features. Bose has one little trick off its sleeve that's actually pretty nice. Uh, the ability to connect to or transfer audio from the Bose soundbar to uh, the headset itself. So you're at home, you're watching a show, you have your kids sleeping upstairs, or your spouse has gone to bed, and you don't want to actually, of course, blast you know your show off the uh, the speakers. And you want to kind of keep it quiet and down for everyone, a lot of people. This is great because you can go ahead, put on your headphones, and tap, and that feeds it directly through Wi-Fi again. So which means you're getting a clean, lossless experience. And I actually love that feature. I think that's a great feature that I would love to see with more headsets that can be paired with 
different soundbars. Right now, it's tied to just the Sonos soundbar. It's something that's just a Sonos to Sonos thing. And that is a nice qualifying factor if you are in the Sonos ecosystem because you can enjoy your shows, you can play your video games uh, with the solace that you're not disturbing anyone at home. You don't have to buy a special headset away from what you have with Sonos. So when I look at everything overall, what Sonos has brought to the table is actually pretty good. I think there's some things they have to do with their sound tuning. Uh, I also think there's some things they have to do with the uh, active noise cancellation. And I think this is a very solid start from where they are in comparison to the other three. Now, where do I rank it? I still prefer the XM5s as my best headsets, but those bows have come in at a very strong number two with the Ace coming in at three and the AirPods Max at four. And don't get me wrong, they all sound really good. Uh, but I have my preferences here. I do like the customization of the XM5s, the clean audio of the uh, Bose QC Ultra, the nice balance aesthetics that you have with the uh, Ace, and also just the simplicity you have uh, with the AirPods Max, even though they can be heavy. So if you think I'm wrong, if you think that order is completely all over the place, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've actually tried the Sonos Ace. If you want to pick it up, use our link down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.